Hey y'all, this is 401119 with something rather unique for uh, what is normally a Missouri mine exploration channel. Gail and I are in Socorro County, New Mexico for the next week, and uh, we decided we'd do some exploring of the old Magdalena district. There aren't currently any commercial mines being worked in here. It's not to say anything about uh, smaller claims, but we are here at the Lynchburg mine. It was a uh, it's not very visible here. It was a bear of a hike to get up here. Um, and very bad roads. We had to ditch the truck at a gate. Um, so what we're looking at here is an ore bin. Um, there's a chute there that was controlled by chain, or lowered by chain, and then uh, lowered by steel cables, braided steel cable up there, presumably to offload into trucks. There's some structures up there, some broken up wood, some steel, that we believe may be war car tracks and may lead to an edit. There's also uh, what looks to be a water cistern, um, a tar paper shack, and then a better built wood shack. Um, we're going to make our way further up into this site to take a look at it. Uh, USGS data, I believe, mentioned that there is a 1300 foot horizontal adit leading to stoped out workings along a 3000 or so foot trend we're not going to get to explore all of that um but we'll see what we can do uh, this is looking at the waste pile which is massive which kind of supports there being pretty extensive workings here Yeah, well, uh, oh, there is very definitely ore car tracks up there. So uh, we'll try and link up with those after we check out those shacks. Looking into what I believe is the assay lab here at the Lynchburg mine. Um, there is a large amount of 55 gallon drums, uh, residue, rodent, drop, rodent dung, uh, cardboard boxes, etc. in here. Lockers, which uh, could potentially be for miners' personal belongings if this could have been a dry house. Um, the thing is, this was labeled up to 34. I don't know if 34 men worked here, but it doesn't sound very plausible, knowing how most of these mines were. Um, we also believe that this mine was worked pretty recently, as there's some uh, stamped or printed uh, lettering on the door. Um, basically requiring that, requiring permission to access it uh, for miners during non-work hours. Um, I'm not sure what's up with that, but the style of lettering suggests that uh, there could have been some level of mining going on here into the 70s or perhaps the 80s. Based on the condition the road is in, which is to say not too bad, um, it is passable but gated. I think I could believe that. So our supposition that this was from the 80s was correct. Uh, this is a document from the Chase Oil Company uh, detailing future reserves estimates as of uh, 1 April 1983. So that is, that estimate was spot on. Um, there's additional documents in here. Um, see those circular plots there. Um, what it was called. Uh, trying to remember my structural geology. Uh, was it a stereograph? I can almost guarantee that I'm wrong, but uh, I'll correct that after the video if I am. And there's Dixie Cups, FedEx labels, um, all kinds of, uh, excuse me, all kinds of shit in here. Um, cap lamp charging stations. That's what those are. Um, they were for lead acid battery cap lamps that are worn around the belt. I don't really use those much anymore. Most mines use LED now. Um, yeah, this was the office, not living quarters that I might have suspected. It's amazing. It's a time capsule back to 1983. Well, unfortunately, it appears that the Lynchburg Mines portal is uh, gated. Not too much of a, a concern. It's already amazing. Um, 
This looks like it was the uh, electrical section of the line. There's a cable spool, danger, high voltage, high, high voltage, keep away. Uh, so presumably there was a generator or uh, other electrical infrastructure here. Uh, there are signs that say hard hat area. And then looking out onto the spoil pile, there's additional stuff, uh, pallets, scrap wood, scrap metal, other detritus. Let's uh, take a look inside the portal of the Lynchburg mine. These are your uh, standard stay out, stay alive signs. Wouldn't enter one of these if you aren't properly qualified. It's probably a bad choice. Um, all right, so let's get a look in. It's our first look into an underground abandoned mine, folks. Smells, uh, very moldy and damp, but everything looks to be in decent condition. The uh, tunnel is very low. I'd say it's maybe five feet wide by five feet tall. Um, there is steel reinforcements for the portal uh, where it transitions into unsupported rock. The upper surface, what we would call the back in mining, is also steel. Uh, there's a hard hat on a bench in there. There's your Rubbermaid tote. And uh, I honestly cannot see that much further in there. It looks as if the ore car tracks were removed. Probably in the 80s. I mean, that's not really how those mines were, uh, were worked recently. Ore cars have kind of fallen out of vogue in the industry. My guess is that Chase, uh, the company we found documentation uh, from in the mine office was investigating uh, further mining this deposit in the 80s. Uh, some of the documents we found dated to the late 70s and early 80s. Um, obviously it was not fully successful or there were other business problems because this mine is not currently operating and was not reopened. Unfortunately, I would say. So, um, this is the uh, latrine to two-holer privy for the Lynchburg mine. Um, we also found, rather Gale noticed, a really uh, old personal computer. Um, it was a tape load. And mentioned uh, lubrication of punch heads. These are before my time. I'm only 20. Um, it's Remex brand. I don't know if any of y'all watching have heard of uh, Remex brand computers. I sure haven't. Um, but anyways, we kind of realized that um, when we were looking into the Lynchburg Mines portal, both of us were uh, getting burning eyes and um, a bit of a sore throat. So we're going to come to the conclusion that there's probably uh, black mold of some sort in that mine. I don't see uh, a secondary ventilation portal, which is really odd. Um, that would have been required for any later work here for very, very obvious reasons. Um, but, so I thought that was a little bit odd. There was not any visible airflow coming out of the portal. I've heard uh, Frank Lottie Mines in Nevada that you got to see will have uh, tangible airflow coming out of the portal. So, just to wrap this up real quick, um, we got to look out at the uh, old ore bin. So, unfortunately, the ore car tracks, we couldn't really meet up with them because they... Uh, seem to start sort of randomly on this uh, on this slope. Um, 
yeah, there appears to be a, a junction of some sort up there where they would be routed to um, the orbit and then dumped out. This is our uh, first high desert mine to visit. You can see uh, kind of altitude we're at here. I think we're at something like 7,000 feet. I would have to check uh, Google Earth to get a better figure. But we're pretty high in the air. Um, hey, Gail, how's that? How does it feel like breathing the air up here? Nothing like coastal Texas. <laughs> I call that breathing water down there in Florida where I'm from. Yes, this stuff is thin. Uh, this right here, this is uh, drill steel and drill bits. Uh, this bit is uh, pretty well bent, used up, kaput, etc. Uh, it's no good anymore. These right here are uh, steel straps used to reinforce usually a main haulage tunnel. Uh, that right there is a roof bolt collar. Uh, roof bolts were, or roof bolts are used to um, anchor things like this into the rock. They go about 8 to 12 feet in usually. And uh, they'll do a lot for the structural integrity of, um, of the back. It's, it'll basically dra drastically reduce any risk of fall or rock accidents. Um, I don't know what the hell the head is down there, but, uh, yeah, there isn't really a whole lot else to see here. I'm running out of video space, um, because I foolishly did not dump my phone's memory card prior to, uh, coming up here. That was a bad decision. Um, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, I don't know if this will get uploaded while we are still in New Mexico or what, but, uh, until our next video, um, like to tell you thanks for watching and uh yeah stay tuned for more mind videos have a great one